I want us to listen to a short story. Be able to share that with everyone. Is this real people, by the way? Yes. Mark and Susan had been married a few years when suddenly she began to lose her eyesight. And she got really depressed and sank into a deep slow of despond. But Mark said, listen, honey, I'm going to stick with you. And I'm going to help you learn how to do your job blind. And so they worked hard at it. He went with her to the office every day, showed her how to do her job as a blind woman. And then he would leave for his work at an army base. Well, one day he turned to her and said, Susan, I'm sorry, but... I'm getting to work too late. You're going to have to go to a job on your own. And she was freaked out. There's no way I can ride the bus, walk the streets, go up the stairs, go into the office building, go upstairs and sit at my desk and do this on my own. And he said, no, honey, I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to teach you. And so they did it for a couple of weeks. And then eventually he said, okay, I think you know it well enough. I've got to go to work at an earlier hour. So Monday came, she got on the bus, walked the block. Walked up the stairs, seamless. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it went beautifully. Friday, as she's getting on the bus, the bus driver says, you know, you're a really lucky woman. She says, stop it. I'm it took the woman. bus driver said, for well, yes, her to but, uh, appreciate what the husband has been doing for her. Off the bus. There's a man standing Gratis. on the street corner in a military uniform, and he never takes his eyes off of you. And when you walk down the sidewalk, he's watching you carefully like a hawk. Mm -hmm. You cross the street at the right time, he's watching you like a hawk. You go up the stairs, you open the door, you go in. And as soon as that door closes, he stands ramrod tall, gives you a salute, blows you a kiss, and then turns to go away. And all of a sudden, Susan understood, that's my husband. Mm -hmm. He's been watching me tirelessly for all this time. I'm not alone. He's watching me. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what God does for us in even a more profound way. Absolutely. And then he calls us to do that with each other. To really protect each other, to focus in on each other, to listen to each other, to build each other up, to encourage each other. And that's how marriage goes beautifully. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, so, you know, I saw this story, I said I should share because you never know who would, who you'll be impacting. You know, you hear the story. You know, sometimes this is what God does for us. We just go about, you know, doing our things, thinking that we are there. We don't know that some difficulties we're going through or things that God saved us from. We even forget to say thank you. Most of the time, you say, ah, God just saved me. Just say it in passing. Ah, God, God saved me today. I, I would have been hit by the car. Or you even go just as small as even sleeping and waking up. It's a great testimony that God has done for you. It's not everybody that sleeps and wake up. It is not everybody. Maybe you don't know. I will tell you. It's not everybody. Or you are supposed to be run by a car and God saved you. you for you, it might, be, it might look this little thing. This small thing. It is not small. So sometimes, these are the things you can do. What have you done? What difference have you made in the life of anyone today? Drop it in the comment section.